this video about data collection from Earth Explorer USGS. So to download data from USGS, we have to type here Earth Explorer and then search. The browser will open Earth Explorer USGS. This site is for various types of data. So to get data from this USGS site we have to at first first login and create an login and profile I have already created here my login I am showing here the option login we have to go there login it is loading and here sign in here we need one username and password already i have created my username and password if you have no username then you can create a new account from here you can create your username and password then next hit sign in the automatically it brings you in the main website from where you can download various types of data satellite image digital elevation model and so on various types of data so the interface it will come like this and here different type of tabs search criteria data set additional criteria result so search criteria is for selecting the region from where i want to extract the data it is the map showing the place from where you want to extract your data. Suppose I want to extract from here. So in search criteria, need to go here different types of tab here. Uh, from geocoder, we can search our study area or area of interest or we can also upload our KML zip file if, if you have KML zip file then you can upload and automatically it will appear in your study region then from there you can extract your data so very simple step to select the region it is PHR name after then the state and PHR, the state is nothing but it is showing different country place names and feature type it is you can select from here feature type it is little complicated who are newcomer in this site but the simplest thing is at first in this search criteria we have to we have to select our area of interest or study region so for this purpose there is different type of method it is at first we can use map map if we click in this use map the whole portion of the entire screen select as my area of interest then I can search data or we can clear from here this or add coordinate point from here I can input my lat long from where I want to extract my data and then simply hit the at or another method is in degree decimal i can put my study area i can search by adding degree decimal so i am not using use map this one and not using additional cry add coordinate both will work same then another option I can manually select here my place of area of interest so for this simply double click left click then another place then another place I am simply creating a polygon suppose it is my study area or area of interest I want data from here or manually later I can modify this or I can extend my study area or adjust this so it was about the first tab that was the select criteria
after then the data set which data i want to procure procure from here so for this here a list opened up here a lot number of categories from what type of data we can we want to extract we can get here here also land cover data here the digital elevation data geographers must mostly use this digital elevation geotip data from here for the dam and here also land cover data and um, other data are here sentinel sentinel image here sentinel 2 and land set here different level land set level 2 2 land set collection level 2 1 uh, from here the sub menu also uh, it is representing different type of land set 8 only it is the latest and the land set 7 etm plus land set 4 5 tm in the different type of satellites data are available here suppose i want to now the next step how we can download this data so here we have to select anyone according to your purpose after then additional criteria so in additional criteria there is not very uh, essential and if you want then you can explore various things from here and i'm not going in this thing and after then the result the result portion it is loading it will take little time depends on your internet speed and the result showing that these are the additional criteria in the result of my study area this leg i can give this leg that it will prompt me from which portion it is belonging then the next portion it is this one the, and the next portion this one thus you can search how many uh, plates are falling in your study region so i'm simply simply going to first one and the next one is the so browser overlay here it it will um, it display like that after then it is the details about the uh, image it will show me just a second it is not working uh, i don't know why okay uh, so it is uh, the next one is the metadata that is the about this information about this data and this button about the download download portion and let me pause this video a little bit after then i again come back so we were here uh, it actually the uh, contain the date in which date the satellite captured this image and after then the path number row number all the things and first one is the leg which will show in which place the um, plate is belonging in your study area and after then the second one is about the satellite image if i uncheck this this it uh, directly show the satellite image that has been captured on this time and after then it is the metadata about the image it is loading it is here the detailed information of this data cloud cover and the projection system in which lat long it is belonging all these types of information we can get here suppose i want to find cloud cover then uh, control f here and from here we can get uh, cloud cover information how much percentage this satellite image is uh, covering the cloud or containing the cloud uh, and another all informations 
and after then this one is for download option if you want to download this image then click here it is loading the download option and product option and from here we can download i have i have no available internet mm, so i am not going to download this but uh, from here we can download this uh, satellite image and it is about uh, the usgs all about the usgs from where we can get or procure our data okay thank you